Hey guys, my name is Kelly. I'm a full-time reseller. My Poshmark and Instagram are both rebel underscore rose underscore co. Today I'm going to do a quick thrift haul. I'm not wearing a lot of makeup. Um, you should definitely watch till the end because I have a ton of really good brands. And last time it seemed like you guys liked um, where I was standing up and showing the things on the rack. So I'm gonna try that again today and I hope it goes well. If you could give this video a like, a comment, and if you could watch till the end, I am really trying to get monetized. I am a little bit far away, kind of a lot far away with my watch hours. So if you watch till the end, it really helps me out a lot. And every like and comment pushes me up in the algorithm. So yeah, I really appreciate any of that. So let's go on with the haul. So I'm not sure which side I should stand on. So this first item is a Kavu bag. I have sold these two times before I just sold one it was mine I sold it for 30 or 35 these are usually like outdoor bags this is more of a purse but it gives kind of like like outdoor vibes it's super clean it's like a canvas material so I'm super excited to list that this next item this is a made well also sorry if i'm like awkward i'm used to sitting down doing these so i'm trying to do it standing up i i really don't feel comfortable filming standing up but um i'm gonna do that so this is a made well skirt i actually used to own this skirt myself but i sold it on poshmark because it was a little too short this is super cute it's just like a mini skirt that buttons up the front blue and white stripes this is vince just a basic cotton white button up tank. Picked it up because it was inexpensive and it's just like a really nice like neutral minimalist piece. Okay, this is a really nice find. This was Barefoot Dreams. So it's Barefoot Dreams Cozy Chic. It is a robe. It does have a little bit of discoloration right here, but it's really not noticeable. It's just like a full size robe. It has pockets. I've only found Barefoot Dreams. I'm trying to think. I think I might have. I think I might have found it twice before. So I'm super excited to list this. And it's bulky, so I don't normally pick up like bulky items, but because of the brand, I picked it up. Okay, the next item is The Great. I've only found this brand one other time. It was a basic, uh, it was striped and polka dot t-shirt. Very basic, and I sold it for $45. So this is the label. So this is a good brand to keep out for. This does have a little bit of pilling, but it's just a black and white striped long sleeve shirt. It has a raw hem, so... Yeah, I'm super excited to list this. This is a really nice brand. Okay, Free People is definitely a hit or miss, but this print just gave me fall vibes. It's like a navy, some like burgundy, some like gold. It's satin floral. I just thought this was really pretty. It, it's not like a fall style, it's halter. Super open back. But with a cardigan, this could look super cute, I think, for fall. Yeah, it ties in the back with like a little ribbon. It's actually a little sheer here. So, yeah, but it's just like a really pretty print. So I'm excited to list that. This is also Free People. It's Free People Beach. This is the tag. Oh, I didn't show the tag on this one. I forgot to show the tag on here. It's their metal tag. Okay, this is Three People Beach. It is a burnt orange ribbed bodycon mini dress with long sleeves. It has a slightly open back. Cinched here. I just thought the color was perfect for fall. This doesn't really seem like a beachy item, so I'm not sure why it's in their beach line, but I'm super excited to list this also. Okay, James Purse. I've sold very basic tops by them for like $35. This is the tag, it's James Purse Los Angeles. So just a white v-neck. It's very, very soft. I don't think it has any spots on it. It's hard picking up white sometimes. It is 
It's made in the USA and it's Supima cotton and Lycra. So it's a very soft. I really like picking up this brand. This is another free people item. They have a lot of different kinds of tags. This one says free people here. It is, this is the January thermal. I'm pretty sure that's the style name. I've sold this in pink and green. This is white. It's a size medium, but their stuff is always oversized. It's just a long flowy ribbed thermal top. Definitely pick this up because of style. It really means a lot to me if you're still watching. I don't know why I'm having anxiety filming today. I think because I'm not wearing a lot of makeup. So if you watch this video all the way through, that really means a lot to me. Marine Lair. This is a hit or miss brand for me, or I guess I had picked up a piece one time at Value Village. It was a sweater, but it had so much pilling. I thought I was going to be able to fix it, but I really wasn't able to. But I think this piece is going to do well. It's like a tweed dress perfect for work and it probably retailed for around two hundred dollars let me see what it's made out of i don't see but um it's in really good condition it has these like cupped sleeves it's blue so i'm super excited to list that that is a big bolo brand okay next is eileen fisher just a basic tank but these will do fairly well Pretty sure it's linen. Feels like linen anyway. Yep, 100% organic linen. This is just a great basic top. Love Eileen Fisher. Okay, this dress, the brand is Marina. Never heard of it. Don't know anything about it. I haven't even looked it up. Just picked this up based on style. It's this pink like applique lace and it has like the sweetheart neckline and then it's like kind of sheer up here a little bit of a fit and flare it's just really pretty it zips in the back yeah pretty much just picked this up based on style i still need to look up that brand but i just thought this was really nice and it feels really high quality too okay this is definitely a older style of free people but it was very inexpensive, so I grabbed it. This is the tag. You can see it's sequin straps, floral tank with like sequins on it. It's pretty cute. It just seems like a fairly older style, but I'll pick up any style for people if it's like a dollar. Like it doesn't matter to me, so. Okay, this is the brand Soft Jouet. Believe I'm saying that right. I'm not totally sure. Very soft. Um, it has like three quarter length sleeves and peasant, um, peasant sleeves and shoulders. It feels like modal or something. It's 100% viscose, but it's very very soft. It ties in the back. Probably not gonna get a ton for this. Jouet retails for a ton, but does not always resell for a ton. But I thought this was cute. This is just a scarf, picked up because of style. It says Torrente as the brand. It's 100% silk. I just picked up because it's silk and it's like a fall print, like just a bunch of fall leaves. The purple ones are a little weird, but I don't sell scarves super often, but I just picked up because I liked it. <laughs> okay, this is a bag. The brand is Nautica. It's kind of like a big bucket bag. I actually have had this for a long time. I haven't listed it. I should have listed this in the summertime for like a beach bag. It's just like canvas, rubber. It has like a rope at the top. Lots of pockets and it's like structured on the bottom. It's really clean inside. I think this is going to be a little hard to photograph. So yeah. Oh, and it has a strap. You can wear it like a backpack. So yeah, that would have been a good beach bag, but I'll be listing it now. Okay, next is figs. We all love figs, super soft, scrub top, dark blue from the technical collection. It has a pocket here. Just a great brand to pick up. Okay, next is the brand Pure Collection. Again, I didn't look this up. I will insert 
some information on the screen, but I picked it up because it is 100% linen. It's really nice. It's like, it could be like a little cardigan jacket blazer thing. Yeah, I guess it has to be. It doesn't button up any more than that, but it's just really nice. Neutral color. I love anything linen, and I feel like linen sells no matter what the brand is. Okay, next, this is Fig. I wasn't sure if this was from, if this was like an older style of figs, because this looks kind of like, I don't know, this doesn't really look like a scrub top, but it could be. It just says Fig. The font is very similar, and I don't see um, their little icon anywhere. So yeah, what do you guys think? Is this a Fig's top or is this just a random top from a brand called Fig? <laughs> so yeah, I'll have to see. Next is just Victoria's Secret. This is just like a little camise, mini dress, long tank, whatever you want it to be. It feels like satin, has a floral print, lace. Yeah. It's, it has like a little built-in like shelf bra. So I don't get too much for this brand, but I still like to pick it up. The price is right. Okay. This one is Boss Hugo Boss. The tag is white on white. So it's pretty hard to see, but it is Boss Hugo Boss. These are just some dress pant trousers. They have little polka dots where it's like, there's so many, you can't even tell it's polka dots. They are just in really good condition, just nice career wear pants. Never found this brand before. I have found this brand faked before. So I've never sold this brand. So we'll have to see how this does. This brand I'd never heard of, RN Studio by Ronnie Nicole. I just picked up based on style because it was really cute. It's just a floral, like crochet, lace kind of dress. Super nice, it has gold detailing, nice hem. It's just a nice dress, so I picked this up based on style. Next was an Obey top. It says Adopt, I thought that was pretty cool. That is an awesome thing. So yeah, it's just a basic top with a dog and it says adopt. So, okay. Clara Sun Woo, this is a expensive brand. I have a top by this brand listed in my closet. I've never sold this brand though. These are like black skinny pants and they have sequins on them. So yeah, they're really nice. They could even, they, it's like kind of muted so they could even be worn to like work or out. Yeah, this brand is pretty expensive. It's made in the USA. So keep an eye out for that brand. If you're still watching, that means a lot to me. I don't know why I'm having so much anxiety filming today, but I think because I'm standing up instead of sitting, so I just feel weird. So I appreciate if you're watching, especially if you watch till the end. Okay, so this is, I never know if this is sundry or sundry. This is like an athletic, athleisure brand. This says only good days, just a long sleeve top. It does have some pilling, but it also kind of looks like this could just be like the style. I don't know. So I will try and depill it, but I'll look up a stock photo and see if it's just made like that. It is longer in the front. Yeah, this is a great brand to pick up. Okay, it is Tulip. This is a striped dress with this really cool drop waist. Um, it like cinches in different spots. This reminds me of like a ball gown, like a Disney princess, like Belle's dress or whatever. You know how they like cinch and do those like drops? That's what this reminds me of. I think it might be linen. Nope, it's just 100% cotton, but this brand apparently does pretty well, so. I picked this up. This is not a brand I don't think I've ever picked up. It's Angie. I just thought this was so cute. It almost looks kind of fall with like the orange and the yellow. It's just like a mini dress. It's kind of like a baby doll style and it has like tiered um, skirt. 
it has this in the back. It's summer for sure, but I think this would look cute with like a cardigan and some tights and boots. I don't know. I think that would look cute. Okay, only a couple more items. So if you're still watching, that means a lot. This is Loft Petites. I don't pick up Loft a ton, but this is 100% tensile lyocell and it's army green and it's some cropped wide leg pants. So I think, or I guess I'll have to measure it. If you're petite, this might not be cropped, <laughs> but uh, lyocell tensile is a great sustainable material and army green is always in. Wide leg pants, very boho lagging look. So I'm super excited to list that. Next is J. Crew Trademark Vintage Street. I don't pick this up a ton, but I got them for a good price. It's raw fringe hem, super high rise. They're really good quality. So yeah, I think jeans are gonna be doing well um, the next couple of months. This is Point Sur denim. Point Sur is apparently a J. Crew brand. Unfortunately, these do have a little bit of puckering. I didn't realize until later. I sold this brand one time. It was a dress. I believe I sold it for 40. Um, these are very small. They're a size 26 petite. But they have these pockets here. They are cropped wide leg. Very like trendy, I feel like. But a specific person will have to buy these, I think. But yeah, I thought that they were cute. This is just a billabong dress. It's just cute. It's probably not gonna sell for a while. It ties in the back here. Yeah, it's definitely not a fall item, but it buttons up in the front. I just really liked it. So I picked it up. Next is Z by Zella. I think I've only sold Zella a handful of times, if any, I'll have to look it up. These are super high rise blue yoga pants. Activewear is hopefully gonna be selling pretty well because of people's New Year's resolutions coming up. Okay, a couple more items and then I'm done. These are not on hangers. This is Mac Studio. It's a size large. It is a romper. It's very soft. I tried this on, I wanted to keep it, but it did not look very good on me. So this front part is unbuttoned, but it's supposed to be buttoned up. It has some pockets here. Ties here has a drawstring waist, shorts, pockets, this is one of those brands that I had no idea retail for a lot of money. This probably retailed for over $100, but it doesn't resell for a ton. So we will see. Next is just the brand Free Press Clothing. I'm not expecting a ton for this. It is a cream, like, crossover, like, wrap-looking cardigan. And it has gold um, metallic spots. I don't know if the metallic is showing up on camera. But it's super soft. It's really nice. I picked that up based on style. This is Diletta. It's sold at Anthropology. This is a pretty basic piece, but it's like a taupe brown. It's knit. It has a button on the side and chiffon detailing at the bottom. And it has like a raw fringe hem up here. So this brand is hit or miss, but I picked it up. Okay, one last item. This was also just based on style, Papillion, Los Angeles. This brand actually can be fairly expensive, but it's just, it's like this taupe and kind of mint green color. And it's this like tapestry print. It's just like a trench coat. It has this button. I don't know, I just thought these colors together were kind of cool. And it's in good condition. So I figured I'd try it out. Coats should be selling fairly soon. Okay, if you watch the whole way through, that means a lot to me. Um, I'm really trying to get my watch hours up, so anytime you watch the video the whole way through, it helps a lot. I'm still at least 2,000 hours away, <laughs> so uh, it would be super cool to be monetized one day. So yeah, if you comment or like on this video, that helps me a lot. It pushes me up in the algorithm, any interaction. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.